What I have now is the buckskin. The buckskin was the uh, probably the cooler weather uh, garment. It was a tougher lasting garment. The leggings, the shirt, uh, the moccasins. The moccasins were buckskin or uh, elk skin or buffalo skin that were tanned out. Native Americans used every resource that they had and they would, uh, the hides, buffalo robes made a great bedding. The, uh, or you could tan them and make real heavy, a uh, heavy uh, thing for moccasins. Uh, it was different, there was so many uses for the, the buffalo. The, the bone in the buffalo was used for the breastplate, the chokers, chokers made of bone, the uh, breastplate, it's all bone from a buffalo, the, uh, the quill work that's done, there's guard hair from a porcupine on there plus horse hair that's designed, the porcupine quill also gave us the quills here, and this is porcup porcupine quill also, the uh, the beadwork is all trade beads, uh, different trade beads. The Native Americans weren't uh, weren't allowed to practice their religion officially until 1968. In 1968, nobody wanted to be the first test case either. Uh, so it was referred to when we have our Native American church as a meeting. We're going to be we're going if somebody asks. We're just having a meeting at our place this weekend. And that's what we were uh, told to tell you know, when we were going to school. If somebody asked, we're just having a meeting, we would practice the Native American church at uh, our property back then. The eagle, uh, we honor the eagle feathers. The uh, eagle feathers uh, are for given for a deed that you would do when you were uh, younger. As you're growing up, you receive an eagle feather for each uh, good deed or outstanding job that you do. So, this is a, a religious fan and a religious gourd for the Native American church services or any sort of religious service I would do. Uh, this was a Woodland Chieftain's hat, a turban basically. They would wear it, uh, wear it pretty much like this here. It's a little warm. The uh, <clears throat> the common mistake with the uh, what everybody calls this is a peace pipe. It's actually known uh, as a prayer pipe. The uh, the prayer pipes were seen by the white people as they got the, the pipes out and they smoked for the peace between the two people, between the natives and the white people in the area that they came to an agreement with. So the white people called it uh, the peace pipe. And that's kind of the name that it was kind of given for quite a long time, but if you actually know the history, the history tells us they're actually prayer pipes and they're still used today as prayer pipes. And uh, the Sioux call it the Chinupa. So, the uh, the people that get uh, and they get with great respect from their own people would be given a bonnet, and uh, I went for the leadership. They when you, the leadership they expect you to be a leader, uh, uh, a leader of your people, spokesman, pretty much. But uh, a good spokesman, a good leader will consult with all of his people. To, uh, arrive at a consensus, and they would they would have this here. The uh, ribbon work. The ribbon work is uh, very ornate ribbon work. We would do a lot of different things with the ribbon work, uh, different uh, style. The uh, this here is called a roach, and you'd wear it on your head for your ceremonial dances. And then uh, has the eagle feather, the honor of the eagle. This here is a traditional ribbon style from the Ho-Chunk Nation. The uh, necklace was given to me by my uh, grandparents. 
the star symbolizing the center of the universe. The uh, they, everything has a little different meaning. Sometimes it means something different to somebody else. The 